Forests are in trouble, and if forests are in trouble, so are we. Here's why. This year has been horrendous for forest fires. 106 people have died in wildfires in Portugal. Canada has seen its worst wildfire season since 1958. And in Siberia, forest fires there have been the worst recorded in 10,000 years. While you can't exclusively blame climate change for these fires, it has played a role. Unusually high temperatures across southern Europe have sparked droughts, while extreme weather events like Hurricane Ophelia have helped fuel fires. Degradation and deforestation for things like palm oil, farming and logging have also increased the incidence of forest fires. In Brazil, after years of decline, deforestation rates have actually started to rise again. In September, the country saw more forest fires than any time since records began. In fact, recent research suggests that some of the world's tropical rainforests are so degraded that they've actually become a source rather than a sink of carbon emissions. And things could get worse. One of the world's last pristine rainforests, the Congo Basin, is currently being eyed up by industrial logging and palm oil companies. This is worrying because researchers recently found a massive area of peatlands in the rainforest. The area of carbon-rich soil is believed to be the same size as England and could contain as much as three years of global carbon emissions. Scientists warn that any significant development in this area could lead to the release of this trapped CO2, dramatically accelerating climate change. Which is a bit scary. Forests can play a key role mitigating global warming. According to one study, natural climate solutions could account for 37% of all the actions needed by 2030 to meet the Paris climate goals. That's things like protecting peatlands and conserving forests. Of course, other research suggests that we'd also have to keep curbing fossil fuels. Right now, international leaders are meeting at the UN Climate Conference in Germany. They are setting out their plans to tackle deforestation and protect forests in line with the goals set out in the Paris Agreement. Global leaders have talked a lot about curbing fossil fuels, but tackling climate change is actually about a lot more than that. Sign up to our weekly email for more journalism from Unearthed.